Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me again today and for always, always coming back to this channel. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your prayers for me, your support and words of encouragement. I am so grateful. Thank you. May the Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. If you are new to this channel, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God and thank you for being here. You have come to a place where the love of God is shared and his word is proclaimed with power and authority. This is a community where we hear and share the word of God and we seek to grow in our faith as we walk in the path that God has set before us. May the Lord bless you richly as you join us on this journey. And may your life be transformed by the power of his word. I'm so excited that you are here and I look forward to seeing how God will move mightily in your own life. God bless you in Jesus' name. I have an exciting word to share with someone today. It is a word of good news and I'm so excited to share it with you. Before we jump into the word, let us say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to hear and to share your word. Thank you for the good news that you've sent to us today. Lord, we are grateful for your love. We are grateful for your grace and for your unending mercy that we enjoy on a daily basis. Father, forgive our sins and unrighteousness. Lord, cleanse us in the name of Jesus. And we ask for your guidance and wisdom as we delve into your word today. Open our hearts and minds to receive what you have for us today. And use me, Lord, as your mouthpiece to deliver your word to your children. I will not speak of my own, but you, our God, will be the center of this word. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I see someone being promoted this month. And this promotion will involve breaking of protocols. I see that there are protocols, there are processes, and certain agreements that would ordinarily prevent this promotion. But God is going to bypass these protocols, these processes and agreements. He's going to accelerate your advancement in ways that seem impossible by natural standards. The Lord really highlighted an agreement that is in place to me. An agreement that is in place. One that prevents such promotion. It is like a binding contract or a rigid policy that typically would not allow for such exceptions. However, God is going to intervene in a miraculous way. He will override these human-made constraints. He will cause these barriers to be removed and create a clear path for your elevation. Praise God. Psalm 75 verses 6 and 7 say, for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. Promotion comes from God. Not from human agreements that seem unbreakable or from any earthly authority. Regardless of how we see things in the physical, it comes from God alone. What may seem like an immovable obstacle in the natural realm is nothing before the power and the will of God. The Lord has the ultimate authority and power to promote and elevate you beyond what any man-made protocol can restrict. You might not have stayed long at that place or fulfilled the usual criteria for promotion. It might not even be the designated promotion time in that environment, but God is saying to you, to the person this word is intended for, the Lord is saying it is your time to be promoted. He's saying it is your own Kairos moment. God is not limited by these conventional timelines. 
He will move swiftly to place you where he has destined for you, regardless of the traditional requirements or waiting period. The Lord is breaking the norms and defying expectations. He is overruling the usual processes and expectations. Your promotion will come as a surprise to many because it won't follow the usual path. It won't follow the usual pattern. And people will wonder how it happened so quickly or why you were chosen. Praise God. I also heard this word, skip steps which means that God is about to expedite your progress in ways that defy the normal sequence of events. You will experience a sudden leap forward that will make it clear that God's hand is at work. This acceleration will bring about results that seem out of reach under normal circumstances. God is going to cause you to skip steps. I just kept hearing that word, skip steps. You are going to bypass the usual stages and processes. God will shorten the process for you. He will lead you to your desired outcome faster than anticipated. Now, please listen. God is doing this for you, not because you deserve it more than others. Not because you are better qualified. Not because you have the experience or meet all the requirements but he's doing this for his glory. He's doing this to demonstrate that he is your God and that his favor rests upon you. His favor, his hands rest upon you. He's doing this to show that truly those who put their trust in him according to his word will never be put to shame. He's proven that his promises are true and that his plans for you are good. Praise God. The scripture I received for this word is Revelation chapter 21 verse 5. And it says, He who seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. God's words are trustworthy and true. You can count on this word if it resonates with you and you will see his promises manifest in your life in miraculous ways and undeniable ways in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and for the ways you continually bless us. Father, we can't thank you enough. Thank you for the promotions and advancement that you are bringing in our lives. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all praise and all adoration. Lord, we thank you for the breakthroughs that are on the way. We thank you, Father, for your divine intervention and for the miracles that are about to unfold in our lives and in our midst. Father, we acknowledge that it is by your hand that we are lifted and promoted. So we give you all the glory, Lord. Father, I pray for each person right now under the sound of my voice. I decree and declare that every protocol, process, and agreement that stands as a barrier to their promotion is broken now in the name of Jesus. Father, let every human man constrained be overridden by your divine power, by your authority, by your might in the name of Jesus. I declare that their promotion will come swiftly and miraculously. Let it defy all natural expectations in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for those who are in need of your intervention. In one way or the other, let your favor rest upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Let your glory shine through their lives, Father. Show yourself mighty on their behalf and let their promotion be a testimony of your goodness and of your faithfulness. Lord, we receive your word. We believe your word. We trust you.
because you are the God who fulfills your promises. You are not a man that you should lie. Neither a son of man that you should change your mind. If you say a thing, it comes to pass. You have given us this word. You have revealed what is coming to us. And so we trust you in the name of Jesus. We will see the fulfillment of this word in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious and mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.